kids. I'm so excited to see you again. I hope you've been doing your art. Today we are going to draw a picture of King Tut. You've probably seen this image before and I am so excited to teach you how to do this. Even though he's actually gold, he's actually made with 24 pounds of gold, believe it or not, this, this mask. But we're gonna use silver. It's okay to do different colors. And you could do any colors you want. So you're gonna need a piece of aluminum foil. You're gonna need a sheet of paper and a pencil, an eraser, a pen. You want a ballpoint pen, a ruler, and this is an important part. You have to have markers that are not washable. If they're the water markers, they won't work because what will happen is you'll draw on them and it will just wipe off. So make sure it's something like a Sharpie. You could even do a few tests first. And if you don't have markers like that, just do it on the piece of paper and that's totally fine. So to start off, you're gonna take your piece of paper. You wanna do this on a separate piece of paper first because when you draw on this, you can see all the little lines and you can't erase. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our picture here and then we're gonna trace it onto the foil. So we're gonna start off, you can do this as big or small as you want, but I'm just gonna draw a big oval right in here. You can kind of sketch this first so that it's not super dark and you can make changes to it. Then in the middle, I'm gonna put his head about like that. Now you want to have the opening for his neck. His, it's like a real, just imagine like a really long neck in here, okay? And then make this part a little skinnier at the bottom because you see how it's, it's bigger here and at the sides? There you go. Now you could do for his beard, just a long shape right in there. You don't want it to go all the way down but you still wanna make it pretty large. And then he also has like a, almost like a similar shape right here up at the top. And then you can put in his ears on the side. Again, don't worry about making this perfect, just do your best. You can always do more than one. We're gonna put in his eyebrows about the same level of his ears. Now the eyebrows are painted, right? The Egyptians, they would wear makeup. And so we're gonna make them kind of thick. And then for the eyes, for now, just draw a frowny face shape and then a circle underneath that frowny face shape. For the nose, all you have to do, you could even draw like an L or you could bring that L up a little bit more. And then for the lips, start with the center of the lip so you can space it out a little bit. And then you can draw the bottom and you can draw the top lip like that. Okay, now the the lines going across. This is where your ruler comes in. You don't have to use a ruler for this, but I do think it's a little easier. We're gonna start up at the top and we're just gonna put lines going opposite of this shape here in the center. We're gonna do that again. And then you could even do a V shape. Really easy if we're familiar with what shapes we're using, right? Now just repeat that again. Now once you get to about this part, maybe you go to your ruler and this is where it can make it a lot easier. Just line your ruler up with the edge of your paper so it's not crooked. So as long as you could see the edge there, you're just gonna go across and kind of hop your pencil like that, okay? And you decide how many lines you want to put in there. You could do a lot if you want. I mean, remember, this is your art. It doesn't have to be totally true to the original mask. I've seen kids do this in all different colors, like purples, greens. You could do pink. You could do a rainbow of colors. So don't worry about making it just like the original. I mean, mine's not even gold, right? So you can be really creative. So once I have that in there, this is the next step. You're gonna take your foil. Now you have two sides to the foil. You have a shiny side and a more matte side. Again, you decide which you would like. I like the shiny side. So I'm gonna keep that side up and I'm gonna put my paper on top. I have a little clipboard so I can actually just clip that in there, but you might want to tape the edges down just so it doesn't move. Now your pencil, you could trace it with your pencil if you don't have a pen. It's just a little easier to see it when you trace it with a pen. So it's because that point in there is going to make lines underneath. See that? Maybe you can, I don't know if you could see that line, but why don't you lift up your paper as you're doing this a little bit just to make sure you can see those lines okay? 
You might do the big shapes first. I find that's a lot easier. And then maybe do the head, just like how we were drawing it. And you can always make little adjustments too in this stage if you want to change something. Notice I didn't even use my eraser. It's fine to make things real super nice, but it's also okay if you're just kind of experimenting and seeing where this goes and don't worry too much again about how it's going to look in the end. This is more about having fun with it. We've done some things with foil before, but maybe it's the first time you've tried it. This technique might be a little different. So as long as you're trying this, then that's awesome. Maybe you could even do this and maybe teach somebody. Like, do you have younger brothers or sisters? I bet they would enjoy learning how to do this. All right, I'm almost done with my lines. Now, don't forget the face. And again, the lines don't have to be perfectly straight, but you can go over with the ruler if you would like. You can spend as much time or as little time as you feel you need. So I'm going to go over the eyebrows. I'm going to go over the eyes. I'm going to go over the nose and the mouth. All right. Okay, I'm excited to turn this around. Now, you might not be able to see this too well on the camera. You can kind of see that, but so you can really see it, I'm just going to take my blue marker. Now, remember, it's not a washable marker. In fact, you might do a little test. Let it dry for a minute and then see if you can smear it. If you can't smear it, see how that's on there really good? Then you've got the right kind of marker. Sharpies will probably all work. And again, if you don't have that, well, maybe you could experiment. Maybe you're going to find something that would work that I don't even know about. And remember, you can take pictures of your artwork and you can post it in the comment section here so we can see them. In fact, maybe you do something, maybe you take this idea and you do something very different. Or maybe you do something else with Egyptian art. That would be a really cool idea. Okay, now you're really seeing my drawing on there, right? And see how much easier it is that I drew it on the white paper first? Because again, the, this puts these little lines into the foil that you can't easily erase. So it's much easier this way. All right, so I'm almost done getting all those lines around there. And I'm going kind of fast, kind of smearing on my hand a little bit, but that's fine. Just keep that in mind too, if you want to draw a little slower, then you don't have to worry about smearing this on your hand. Just let it dry a bit more before you go over them. Okay, so I've got that part. Now I'm going to go over my eyebrows. And I might actually want to, once I get them drawn in, I think I'm going to color those in. There we go. And I'm going to go over the eyes. I might leave, I like to leave a little highlight in the eye. So I'm not filling the whole thing in, but I'm filling most of it in. Putting in the mouth there. All right. Now what I'm going to do, just for the sake of time, is I am just going to shade them in like this. Now you can see in my original, I'll see that, I, I spent a lot of time filling in everything nice and slowly. So it's up to you how much time you'd like to put in with the colors. So I'm going to go over all my little blue sections. Now what I did is I just skipped a few spaces and then I have my blue. So like when I have them right in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip a few spaces. I'm going to go one, two, three, and then put that one in there. One, two, three. And then it's really easy to do the other side. You just match it up. But of course, you don't have to do it that way. Maybe you have different colors on both sides. Again, experiment with it. It is your art. Art is never wrong. Okay, now I'm going to take my black. I find it helpful if you do have more than one color, but even just with the blue, I do think it looks really cool. So I'm again, I'm just going to shade those in. They don't have to be totally filled in, but it does give a very bold, interesting look, doesn't it? Then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go right where his ears are and just shade in that part. Be careful to try to stay where you want your marker to be. Um, I do find it easier to first fill in everything with 
the marker and then go for another one. Now, you also might wanna look. Oh, see, I almost filled it in there. Just look at your pattern. I have blue and then black on this side. So I'm gonna put it in underneath the blue. But again, there's no hard, fast rule saying you must do it a certain way or, I mean, what's, what's the worst that's gonna happen, right? It just looks different. So the last thing I'm gonna do to really touch this up, I'm gonna go over my eyes with this black marker and I am just going to outline them like this fun Egyptian eyeliner. Oh, doesn't that look so cool? Try it, I bet you'll like it. All you have to do is trace over what you already have, but then just make the eye, almost like a cat eye, just make it really come out far on the edge right there. Okay, did you guys enjoy that? Now remember, this is a new experience for you probably, so just give yourself a chance to play with it. Maybe do a couple of these, maybe do your name, something really simple first. And then if you want to try doing King Tut, I would love to see the images or anything else you'd like to share with us. And then I'll be back with you next week with another art lesson. Bye!